Hello and welcome. So today is still day one of my Ohio Food Challenge Tour. And today we're gonna to be taking on our second challenge. So I hope you enjoy this video. Hey everyone, I'm about to take on the Bad Boy Omelette Challenge here at Top of the Bite Up Restaurant. As you should know, or maybe you don't, I really, really enjoy breakfast challenges. So this one should be super fun. But I will have 30 minutes to eat all the food that's in front of me. If I can eat everything in the 30 minute time limit, I will not get the meal free, but I will get a t-shirt and another challenge win. I will put what I'm eating as I eat on the screen, and then at the end of the video, I'll post my final stats along with my recommended stomach capacity in the case you would like to try this challenge. If you enjoy the video, you can help out my channel by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and push the bell icon to be notified when my new videos come out. My goodness. Okay. Wow. Is all the syrup required? No, 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 not at all. It's all right. Extras. Would you like any extra salt or pepper? Um, should be good. Okay. It should be good. All right. All right, guys. I'll be back here shortly. All right. <laughs> all right. So for this challenge, uh, stuff like the butter, the the jam, and the uh, syrup, it's not required. But I have 30 minutes. Let's start the timer and uh, see how I do. All right.
does that mean there's omelet? It is so massive and so so large um, that the heat is just trapped inside of this thing, and every bite is still really really hot. But if I cut it open, by the time I get to the end, it's gonna be cold. So I don't really know what to do. Wow. 
I'm going to have to call this one at 23 minutes and 9 seconds. So, uh, the food here was really, really good. If you get the chance, check out Top of the Vitic restaurant. Their info will be in the description. So, this was a really tasty breakfast challenge, but unfortunately, I did not get the win. So, this is my second challenge loss. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I'll see ya at the next challenge. I don't know what to do with a little, with a lot. I want it to treat it the same as a, a win, because I don't want people to be like, sore loser, when you lose, I don't want anything negative to come out of me losing, so. But what sucks about a loss is I'm, I'm obviously in pain because I pushed myself. I didn't get a win.